hear this, sir. I don't know the template that they have set concerning you, but I want to tell you the plan of God over your life is not over. It is not over yet. In your business, it is not over yet. In your life, it is not over yet. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. In your ministry, it is not over yet. The Lord is saying, test somebody right now. Take a bold step. Concerning that thing you want to do, it is not difficult. The Lord is saying, tell that person, take a bold step. It is not difficult. I can do it. I am doing it. Before the end of the year, I don't know that thing you are saying, God, can you do it? The Bible says, is there anything too hard for me to do? Why are you telling the one is saying that call upon me and I will answer you. And I will give you great and mighty things that you did not know. Nah. There is a boldness on your inside. Nah. The Bible said the righteous is bold like a lion. Nah. Why do you remain in that position you find yourself? Nah. And it's as if life has gone out of you. Nah. And you are managing it that way. Nah. Things seem not working for you. You have a time to meet with God. There is a timetable of stay for a while in his presence. And you look like Mommy Hannah. The day she waited, she had been going to Shiloh. Joy, you have been going to church. Nothing has happened. Nothing happens. Here it is. She had been going to church. But they came. And she determined in her heart. Not that she said, God told me. He said, I am be eating the food of affliction. I have been drinking the drinking of affliction. I have been abused. I have been, I have been talked to anyhow. But there is something about me today that is bringing about the best of God in me. I am making a best decision. I work according to the purpose of God. I cannot remain this way. She said to herself, I have been coming to Shiloh as empty barren, as if I had not been pregnant. And here this, my second wife has been talking to me, tormenting me. My husband has been giving me the double portion of the food. You are a glittery. Begin to eat. That have been your portion. You are eating, you use cream, you rub yourself, you use perfume. But you did not know how to meet with the Lord. In your church, you lay to charge. In your church, you don't pray. In your church, you observe mistake and error of people. And you are saying you want to marry. Instead of face your business, you cover your face. Angel of God did not see you. You disguise in the presence of God. You are not being honest about yourself. Hear this. Until you change your mind, things might not work. Can you 